The bike has opened up a whole new world for me in New York. The city I've been living in for nine years. I'm not mixed up with the chaos when I'm on the bike. I feel like I'm the observer now, which I really enjoy being. I have been able to get out of the city whenever I want. I no longer have to rely on public transportation to get me somewhere. I've made so many new friends on the bike and I've also rekindled some old connections. It's been a really great way for me to rediscover what New York has. My hometown is a, it's a pretty small town. It's called Norman in Oklahoma, a suburb of Oklahoma City. The music scene in Norman is pretty cool. When I go home, I like to go see local bands play, or I also play myself with friends that I have been playing with for 15 years or more. The main thing I think about when I think about Oklahoma is my family and my family is very huge and we all get together when I go home. I have a very warm spot in my heart for Oklahoma because of them. Uh, of course, I still have tons of friends there and I've made new ones even since I left 10 years ago. My uncle has been a bike enthusiast for, for my entire life and I guess his entire life. I must have been around eight years old. I don't remember when I first got on his bike and we went really fast. But he turned a corner and we came probably a foot away from the ground and I couldn't believe that we didn't just fall over onto the pavement. So I was really scared but super thrilled at the same time. And ever since then, I just have been drawn to motorcycles. When I finally finished my degree, I took off. It was perfect timing. No boyfriend, no rent, no lease. I just came to New York and just decided that if it wasn't going to work out, I'd be back in two months and nothing to lose. So I always wanted to work at the UN. The next day after moving here, I literally walked up to the information booth and asked them how I'd go about getting a job here. It was kind of scary to move to New York, but a month and a half after I moved here, I started working at the United Nations. A week out of every year in September, the, all the United Nations members come to New York to speak, and so I was working in the office that facilitates the meetings. And I was meeting all these heads of state, and I have pictures with all of these people, George Bush, Condoleezza Rice, Tony Blair, Vincent de Fox, people, you know, I'd never even imagined in a million years that I would come into contact with. It was very exciting for me and for my family. But since then, I've been dealing with the public transportation in New York City for nine long years. Getting into Manhattan from Williamsburg in Brooklyn is pretty much a nightmare. There's one train, one line that connects Williamsburg to Manhattan. You are crushed, herded, you don't have any control over what's going on. There's constant noise and it's impossible to find peace. Before I moved to New York, my boyfriend at the time in Oklahoma had a Honda CB750 and I used to take his around town. But when I got to New York, I really wanted to get one. I just decided at the time that it was an expense I couldn't really afford and besides, I was actually kind of scared to ride one in New York City. So fast forward about eight years later, I had been visiting a friend in San Francisco who was really into bikes and so we were talking about them a lot and I was riding on his bikes 
And when I got back to New York City that night, I finally decided that I was gonna get a bike, motorcycle license and buy a bike. Later that week, a friend of mine wanted to also buy a bike. He wanted to buy a Triumph, so he wanted to go to the Triumph store, so I said I would go along. And once I got there, the Triumph was actually, a Bonneville was always my dream bike. So I just decided that it was probably a better idea to buy the bike that I was gonna be really happy with for a long time than something I was gonna get grow, grow out of in just a couple of months. When I finally purchased the bike, the first thing that I said to myself was, I can't believe I own a Triumph Bonneville. It's just a beautiful bike. Something about it is just electric. It was just something I never thought I would ever do in my life. Even though I always loved those bikes, I, it was like I never thought I would ever see the pyramids in Egypt. I never thought I would see the Panama Canal. I never thought I would own a Triumph Bonneville. <laughs> When I left the Triumph shop that day, I wanted to keep riding. I didn't want to go home. So I just took a spin around Brooklyn and honestly, I didn't really know the streets that well. So I just kind of got lost. I went downtown Brooklyn and it was one of the coolest experiences of my life. It was a completely different perspective of, from, of the city, being on the bike and seeing people on the street and watching them on stop the stoplight, being a part of it, but in a completely different way as more of an observer gave New York City a whole new spin. Since I got the bike, I have discovered a lot of things. Realized, first of all, how many people in the city ride bikes and how many women ride bikes. I discovered a motorcycle club, an all-girl motorcycle club in Brooklyn called the Misfires. I, I just met these women. I didn't know anybody there, but immediately they were so welcoming. So we have had a lot of rides together since then. I really like kind of forgetting about where I am and where I'm going and just being in the moment and watching the others. And I can just get a sense of the, the bond that we're living together. It's just great to know that there are so many people around that like to do something that you like to do. And I don't drink alcohol, so it's a really good thing for me to do with other people who also don't drink alcohol, because you can't drink and drive. I rode it for a few months and I started noticing a lot of other bikes around the city that had been customized, and I started seeing my bike in a different way. The more I rode the bike, the more unsafe I actually felt on it because it was so quiet. The stock pipes, really don't give off any noise. There's just no warning that you're coming. And I got into a little bit of an accident at one point. The next week after that, I decided I was gonna get the new pipes. And then of course, once I got the new pipes, I was gonna add all the other little things at the same time, just to get it all knocked out in one shot. I had had the bike for a year at that point, And after the modifications, it felt like I was rediscovering a new machine. First of all, it sounded a lot better and louder. So I crossed the bridge every day for work and the first day I took it on the bridge, it was like parting the Red Sea. Cars could hear me coming. I instantly felt safer. I thought I loved the bike when I bought it and I just fell in love with it even more. When I'm riding, I don't experience the noise that I felt while taking public transportation. Yeah, there are some annoying drivers and some annoying oblivious pedestrians, but it's it's so much of a more serene experience. I, I found a new feeling of quiet since I've been riding that didn't really exist before in New York City. And even though riding in the city can be pretty stressful, it can be so serene at the same time. When I get out of work and I get on the bike and I head home on the FGR and cross the bridge into my neighborhood, it's just like I forget about the stress of my day. I'm not fighting people to do anything. I just go. 
But when I get an attention on the street, whether I'm stopped at a stoplight and someone's talking to me because I'm on a bike, which is really cool because nobody just walks up to you and starts talking to you on the street unless they want your money. So they want to talk to me about my bike and I just find these conversations so interesting, whether they're telling me a story of, about a bike that they used to ride or whether they're just complimenting me on my bike. These conversations I have periodically are a totally new experience for me in New York City. I can't imagine my life without the bike. It's just such a big, important part of my life now. I feel like I'm constantly making new discoveries with the bike. It's changed my life completely since I got it, and I, I kind of get bored easily with things that I do in life, and I never see myself getting bored having a motorcycle. It's gonna always take me new places. It's gonna always introduce me to new people. It's gonna always spark up a new conversation. And those are the aspects of life that I really enjoy. So it's the tool that I can use to have these new discoveries. Thanks for watching. This episode was actually our very first crowdfunded episode and was made possible by a lot of very generous people. If you'd like to support the Making of Future episodes, you can do so yourself by going to patreon.com forward slash stories of bike or just simply going to storiesofbike.com and purchasing one of our official t shirts. Every purchase you make goes towards the Making of Future episodes. Thanks for supporting and watching Stories of Bike and see you next time.